question about mantra. Um, we were talking the other day about um, how the vibration has a, an effect and, and how in reality everything is vibration. Mm -hmm. And so I was doing mantra and I was thinking how come that because now I, I feel maybe closer to that aspect of the mantra and I felt like how come that we can do internal mantra? How come we can do internal mantra? Yeah. There's a subtle and a gross form of everything. So it's not that the subtle form has less power it's just that we have less capacity to perceive and engage with more subtle forms. So when we're at one level of uh, our sensory awareness, we can engage in uh, spoken mantra, spoken out loud. And that's the way that we can participate with it. You know, when we're doing spiritual practice, it's not just about doing something in a rote way. We want to be able to engage with it somehow. And if something's too subtle, we won't be able to until we're ready. Mm -hmm. So after we have done mantra for some time, it, and it's a different amount of time for every person, our senses actually become more subtle. Mm -hmm. So then when we start to do mantra in a whisper, or we do mantra just moving our lips, and eventually we do mantra silently, it is having just as much or more power than when we say, say it out loud. But it takes time to get to that place. Right? It's kind of like if people are numbed out, they're going to want to have more aggressive sex. But if they have, if their senses are more subtle, aggressive sex is just going to seem like someone shouting and covering up all the nuanced sounds that might be heard if there wasn't shouting going on. Right? So the more subtle our senses become, the more we can appreciate and engage with something like silent mantra and feel it even more powerfully because our senses are, and our whole energy body is now more attuned to that mantra.